New roads and railways are being built at a rapid pace in Asia. For example, in Nepal, a major railway is being planned that would span the country's width, cutting through important forests and national parks like Chitwa National Park. Chitwa National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and harbors over 100 tigers. Despite the encroachment of roads and railways into tiger range, we know little about their effects on threatened and endangered species like the tiger. This lack of knowledge spells trouble for tigers as their habitats may be forever fragmented and degraded by road and railway development and their survival decreased due to collisions with vehicles or reduction in the numbers of their wild prey that they rely on, like deer and boar. Because we don't wanna to wait to measure the effects of roads after they've been built, as that would be too late, my colleagues and I used an advanced simulation model to investigate what would happen to tigers in the future if they were to die more often because of collisions with vehicles or reductions in their prey caused by roads and this proposed railway. We found that roads and railways would dramatically increase tiger mortality as tigers would frequently encounter vehicles and trains while patrolling their territories. On average, in our model, tiger deaths along roads and the railway would reduce the tiger population from around 130 animals to just 50 animals in 20 years. These reductions are alarming and would seriously jeopardize the future of tigers in this region. So based on these model results, we urge land planners, researchers, and developers to come together and collaborate in using smart green infrastructure planning. This would include prioritizing things like realigning roads and railways to avoid critical tiger habitats, reducing light and noise pollution along roadsides, reducing traffic volumes and speeds, and spatial zoning that restricts new settlements along roads in order to minimize impacts on biodiversity, including tigers and their prey. If new major transport infrastructure projects must be built, then we recommend placing wildlife crossing structures, such as overpasses and underpasses, to ensure that tigers and other animals can freely move across the landscape. There is still much we need to learn about the effects of roads and railways on tiger behaviors and populations, but we think using models like ours as part of a suite of monitoring techniques would enable development of more comprehensive environmental impact assessments of new transport infrastructure projects early in the planning phase before it is too late and construction has already begun. We must also consider not building new roads and railways at all if the benefits of doing so do not outweigh the important costs to the amazing biodiversity in places like Nepal. My name is Neil Carter. I'm an assistant professor at the School for Environment and Sustainability at the University of Michigan. Uh, Co-authors on the paper are uh, Narendra Pradhan, Krishna Hingoju, Chinmay Sonawain, Abigail Sage, and Volker Grimm.